scrolling through, and I saw this picture that Nikita Dragon posted, and I thought the makeup was absolutely stunning. So today, I wanted to attempt to recreate the look. Now, I'm no makeup artist. I don't know how to do like crazy cut creases, colorful things. Like, I'm not that good. I always just do like the basic thing, kind of just blend things out and like make it look good. Well, I can make things look good with a pair of lashes, but I wanted to try to recreate this look because I just thought it was so beautiful. And um, this is the look. You guys can see her right there. Yep. She just looks so stunning. And I just thought that the whole look with like the inner corner, like cat eye, like the drawn in um, liner thing was so sick. So yeah, I just want to try to recreate the look. So I'm going to attempt to recreate this look today. And yeah, if you guys would like to see if I'm successful or not, probably not successful, but I'm going to try. Okay, so keep on watching. First, I'm just gonna like start off with foundation. Um, I pretty much just use the same foundation every time, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, and I'm in the shades 2W2 and 1W2. All right, so next thing I'm gonna be going in with, sorry, I forgot to mention this, but Born This Way Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade Almond, and this is just honestly my favorite concealer. I prefer this over um, Tarte's because I love that it doesn't dry out on me, and it's very, very hydrating. So yeah, highly recommend this Too Faced concealer. Um, and it comes in this huge ass tube, so I just feel like you'll like literally never run out. And it's only like, I think it's like under $30, or I think it's under $30, which um, makes it a really good bang for your buck considering how much product is in there. Next thing is I'm going to be setting. So I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to be baking underneath my eyes. So for the rest of my face, I'm just going to set it with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Tours Pressed Powder. And I'm just going to be putting this in the areas that I didn't set already. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to be doing are brows. And I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Taupe. And I'm just going to be filling in my brows. I am going to be now digging into the eye look. So for her eye look, she pretty much stuck with like neutral brown colors. So for today, I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh, I'm holding this so awkwardly. Hold on. So for today's look, I'm just going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And um, I'm just going to be, because this palette has a lot of browns and neutrals, so I thought I would use this to create today's look. And um, yeah, so I guess, honestly, I don't really know how to do looks like these. I suppose I'll just start with like a transition color. I don't know. Transition color, maybe build it up at the end and then cut the crease and put like a light color in the center. I'm honestly not sure. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys see what I'm doing. Here. And uh, I'm just gonna honestly kind of wing it. And I'm just gonna do one eye on camera. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna try my absolute best. But <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. This is the exact eye look I'm gonna try to recreate. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but somehow that's gonna be on my eye. <laughs> So I did 
did a light wash of color on this eye and then I'm gonna be slowly building it up with like a slightly darker brown. Um, I don't really know what the shade's called because the palette doesn't have shade names, but I'm gonna be going with a slightly darker brown. And I'll be focusing it um, kind of like on the center-ish, yeah, center of my transition shade. More like above my crease though. Sure, I don't really know. And I'm gonna be using an even warmer brown on the outer corner. Okay, so I like, kind of did it. <laughs> oh God, I feel like this looks so bad. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is very hard. Okay, but well, that was my best attempt at it. And um, now I'm just gonna be filling it in with a little bit of shadow, like a light. Grabbing my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Waterproof Eyeliner in black. Just gonna start at the edge and go in. I think that's what she does. It. Yeah, she has a thick line. If I'm a find a keeper, not saying I'm some genius. just recreate this exact look on my other eye right now, dust off my bake, and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I finished the other eye. Um, I wouldn't say it's as good as my right eye. I don't know, I don't know. Oh God, I'm scared this look is gonna be really bad. But I tried my best and so now, I'm gonna dust off the bake at the bottom. So, now I am going to be doing the inner corner eyeliner. Um, that she does that makes it like a very catty look. I'm gonna try that. I don't know. I think it's very hard because with my Asian eyes, um, it's like hooded in the center or like down here. Like I have to like pinch my eyes here. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to explain. But basically, I have a hood here that makes it difficult to connect the lines directly. Yeah. But I'm gonna try. This is probably gonna go really bad. This is the part where my whole look just flops. Oh god. I look so bad. It's okay. I'm just gonna clean it up with concealer. Yeah, this is just the best that I can do. So it's not perfectly the same, but well, that's the best I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other inner corner eye off camera and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I finished the inner cat eye part of the eye and I honestly feel like that was the hardest part for me. Um, I don't think it's perfect, but I tried my best. Um, and now I'm gonna be doing the under eye. So the under eye shadow is again, just more kind of bronze colors. So And she has it a little bit darker on the outside. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit darker on the outside with like a slightly darker brown. And I'm gonna smudge it at the end. I think that's all for the eye look actually. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara right now. Um, the lash color that I use is the Shu Uemura one. I think it's really good, especially for Asian short lashes like mine. And I'm just gonna curl these. So the mascara. 
mascara that I'll be using is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof one. Um, this is really good because um, I've actually found that this is the only formula on me that will not smudge. Or, okay, it smudges a little bit, but it doesn't smudge as much as any other waterproof mascara does on me. And I have incredibly oily skin and oily lids, so I do recommend this mascara if you just want a light coat of mascara. Okay. And then I'm going to be doing that again on my bottom lashes. Now that I've finished that, I'm going to be popping on a pair of lashes right now and I'm going to be putting on the double take lashes from the Bold Face Makeup and I'm just going to be popping these on my eyes right now. Alright guys, so while I wait for my lash glue to dry, I'm going to be going in with contour and I'm going to be going in with the Hula Benefit Bronzer and I'll just be sculpting my cheeks and then, yeah, so I'll just be going with the Hula Benefit Bronzer. contour yet. I still need to bake and clean it up. But my first lash finished drying, so I'm going to pop this on my eye. Okay. Alright, so while I wait for that lash to dry, I'm going to go in with my baking. And so for baking, I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner powder in yellow. And I pretty much use this tiny Jeffree Star Morphe sponge, just any tiny sponge. And I really like this one because it has a flat edge. So I'm able to just really like get in there. So for my nose, I just... Now that the eyes are done, okay, I can finally, I'm just gonna wait for that to bake. And so while I wait for that to bake, I'm gonna go in with blush. I think from her picture, she has just very little blush, like not a whole lot. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna put too much blush. Uh, for blush, I'll be using the Too Faced Sweethearts brush. For blush, I'll be using the Too Faced, for blush, I'll be using the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in the shade Peach Beach. It's like this nice peachy corally color and it's like a mix of like three different colors. So I just grab my brush and I just kind of bloop, bloop, swirl through all three of the colors. Tap off the excess and I'm just gonna lightly dust that over my cheeks. That's it for the blush. And I know that Nikita doesn't wear highlighter on her cheeks. Um, and personally that's something that I don't do either because I think she mentioned it with a video with James Charles, I believe. Um, but yeah, so basically since I have such like a flat Asian face, there's literally no point of me putting highlight on my cheek because I don't have very high cheekbones anyway. And I just think that highlight emphasizes texture too. And since I don't have like the best, most flawless skin, um, there's no point for me to put highlighter. But I really like this blush because there's like, it's like a little bit sparkly, so it does kind of like catch the light. So yeah, so um, I will now apply Dust off my bake. So now that 
I dusted off the bake, I think I'm just gonna warm up my cheeks just slightly with the um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Okay, so for highlighter, I'll be using the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's incredibly blinding, it's sparkly, it's great, it lasts long, um, and I just use this tiny brush. Okay, now it's just time for the lips. So I'll go in with a little bit of lip balm. This is my favorite lip balm ever, actually. It's the Brazilian Kiss Lip Balm. It's by the same brand as the one that does the Bum Bum Cream. Uh, and that smells incredible, by the way. But yeah, love this lip balm. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that lip balm. And then, so for lip liner, I'll be using the Kylie Jenner Lip Liner in the shade Caramel. And I'll just be using this to go around the outside of my lips. I'm gonna be going in with the Bite Beauty Amouge Bouche liquid lipstick, I believe, and it's in the shade uh, Caramelized. I'll be, I'll be going with the KKW Nude One Lipstick um, and just putting that in the center. I think this is gonna be my finished look. Um, I did my absolute best. I do think that, um, I don't know, this is, look is very different for me. This is not normally something that I would typically do, um, but I just thought her look was so beautiful and I guess it doesn't quite translate on me the same. Like, what does she do? She's doing like that. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think my recreation was good enough or how you think I did recreation wise. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video. So yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Or should I say, breathe fire, my dragons. Falling in love really ain't for me. Pouring it up so I feel nothing, but I still can't sleep. Niggas can't come.